What if you could unlock the secrets to wealth that the rich don't want you to know? Imagine a world where your financial future is not a question mark but a well-planned journey. That's the world Robert Kiyosaki invites us to explore in his groundbreaking book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This isn't your typical financial advice book. Instead, it's a treasure trove of wisdom, challenging conventional thoughts and opening your eyes to a new perspective on money and wealth. In the next 10 minutes, we'll delve into 10 potent lessons from this book. These lessons aren't just theories. They're practical strategies that have the potential to transform not just your bank account, but your whole approach to finances. From understanding the importance of financial education to embracing failures, we've got a lot to cover. Ready to take control of your financial destiny? Let's dive into these life-altering lessons. Welcome to Money Funnel. Lesson 1. Never underestimate the power of financial education. This isn't about acing algebra or mastering geometry. No, this is about understanding the language of money. Imagine you're in a foreign country and you don't understand the language. You're lost, right? That's how many people feel when it comes to managing their finances. They're utterly lost because they don't understand the language of money. Financial education is your compass. It guides you in making informed decisions about your money. It allows you to understand how money works, how it grows, how it can be used to generate more wealth. It's about understanding the difference between assets and liabilities, knowing the power of investments, and recognizing the pitfalls of bad debt. Financial education equips you with the tools to navigate the complex world of finance. With financial education, you become the master of your money, not its servant. Lesson 2. The rich don't work for money. Now, that may sound counterintuitive, but it's a fundamental truth that separates the wealthy from the rest. Here's the secret. The rich don't trade their time for money. Instead, they invest in assets that generate income for them. They put their money into ventures that work around the clock, creating a steady flow of income whether they're actively involved or not. This could be real estate, stocks, businesses, or any other investment that brings in a regular return. They focus on building a machine that works for them, rather than working themselves into the ground. This approach frees up their most valuable resource, time. Time to think, to plan, to create, and to enjoy life. It's not about being lazy, it's about being smart. It's about understanding the value of passive income and the power of financial freedom. Instead of working for money, make money work for you. Lesson 3. Shift from an employee mindset to an entrepreneur mindset. It's all about the paradigm shift. As an employee, you trade hours for dollars. It's a fixed equation, limited by the number of hours in a day. But an entrepreneur thinks differently. They build systems, create value, and leverage resources to generate income. This mindset isn't confined by the clock. It's fueled by innovation and ambition. Imagine two boats. One is the employee mindset, anchored, safe, but confined to one spot. The other is the entrepreneur mindset, sails unfurled, harnessing the wind's power, charting its own course. Sure, the seas might get rough, but the potential for exploration and discovery far outweighs the comfort of the harbor. It's a journey, a process of self-discovery, of resilience and adaptability. And it's this shift in mindset that could unlock doors you never even knew existed. Remember, entrepreneurship isn't just about starting a business. It's about changing the way you think. Lesson 4. Harness the power of cash-producing assets. Imagine your money working for you, even when you're not. That's the beauty of cash-producing assets. They are the golden geese laying golden eggs the silent warriors fighting for your financial freedom. Think of assets like real estate, stocks, bonds, or a side business. These aren't just static items on a balance sheet. They're dynamic, they're productive, they're your team. While you're sleeping, they're out there generating income, compounding wealth. Now don't get it twisted. It's not about hoarding possessions or chasing after every shiny new investment opportunity. It's about discernment, about understanding the difference between an asset and a liability. An asset puts money into your pocket. A liability? Well, that's just a drain, pulling money out. So let's be smart. Let's be strategic. Let's let our money do the heavy lifting. Invest in assets, not liabilities. Lesson 5. Understand taxes and use them to your advantage. Taxes, often seen as a burden, can become an ally if understood correctly. The tax code is a series of stimuli designed to guide economic growth and societal investment. By learning the tax laws, you can start to view them not as a pitfall, but as an opportunity to save money and increase wealth. Imagine the tax code as a series of levers and buttons. Each one, when used correctly, can lead to significant savings. For instance, 
Tax deductions on certain investments or expenses can reduce taxable income. There are also tax credits that directly reduce the amount of tax owed. Understanding these laws can help you strategize your income and investments to maximize your wealth. It's about playing the game smarter, not harder. So don't shy away from taxes. Embrace them, understand them, and utilize them to your advantage. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to taxes. Lesson 6. Not all debts are created equal. A common misconception is that all debt is bad, but that's not entirely true. There's a big difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt is your friend. It's the kind of debt that puts money in your pocket. Think of it as a seed, one that you plant today to harvest profits tomorrow. This could be debt taken out to invest in real estate, start a business, or fund education. Anything that has the potential to generate income in the future. On the flip side, bad debt is the one that drains your resources, the kind that takes money out of your pocket. This is often consumer debt, like credit card bills or car loans, incurred for purchases that depreciate in value over time. Remember, the difference lies in what you're using the debt for. Use debt wisely, and it can be a powerful tool. Lesson 7. Embrace entrepreneurship and business ownership. The journey to financial freedom becomes smooth when you're the captain of your own ship. Owning a business is like having a golden ticket to the world of wealth. But why is that? Well, entrepreneurs are not just workers, they are creators. They build value, drive innovation, and most importantly, they create jobs. Owning a business means you're in the driver's seat, controlling your financial destiny. It's about making money work for you, instead of you working for money. Moreover, business owners have the advantage of leveraging the power of cash flow and tax benefits. They can reinvest their profits back into the business, accelerating growth and wealth creation. It's like a snowball effect. The more you roll, the bigger it gets. So if you're serious about achieving financial independence, consider stepping into the world of entrepreneurship. Remember, entrepreneurship is the fast track to financial freedom. Lesson 8. Your network is your net worth. Whether you're a budding entrepreneur or a seasoned investor, the power of robust professional networks cannot be overstated. Think of it this way. Your network is like a living, breathing entity. It's an ever-expanding ecosystem of relationships, connections, and opportunities. Consider the most successful people you know. Chances are they didn't get there alone. They've likely built a network of mentors, partners, and peers who've provided guidance, support, and resources along the way. In the world of finance, relationships can open doors to investment opportunities, provide insight into market trends, and even help you navigate through economic downturns. Plus, a diverse network can offer a wealth of perspectives and ideas, which is invaluable in making sound financial decisions. So, cultivate relationships, attend events, engage with people in your industry, seek mentorship. Remember, every person you meet is a potential gateway to a new opportunity. In the world of finance, who you know is just as important as what you know. Lesson 9. Don't fear failure, embrace it. Imagine standing at the edge of a cliff overlooking a vast canyon. This is the precipice of failure. It's intimidating, right? But what if we change our perspective? What if we see...